Hey, how y'all doing? Welcome back to my Dying Light speedrun, and this is the Pact with Rise Part 2 quest. Well, the Pact with Rise quest Part 2, and the problem with this run is uh, there's just a crap ton of NPC dialogue. It just never ends. Uh, typically, Kareem's got something to say every time you enter a new area, and, you know, Crane's got something to respond, and there's just all this back and forth every time you enter a new area. Now, when you're doing a speed run, um, you're going so fast that you get to a new area before the dialogue from the previous area has ended, or has just ended. And on top of which, Brecken's got his own little panicky, you know, interjections to make. So between the three of them, there's just so much dialogue that there's no way I could do live commentary. It was I just found it way too frustrating. Frustrating. I found it frustrating to do dubbed commentary. I've been working on this video for about half an hour now. This is an 11 minute video, an 11 minute run. And I've been working on it for longer. I've been working on this for 45 minutes trying to figure out a, how to, a way to get commentary on this video. And I finally said, fuck it, I'm turning the sound way down. So I'm not even listening to any of the sound right now. And when I edit this, I'm gonna turn the sound way down so you can barely hear it. So that's why you can barely hear the sound because otherwise, I would never be able to get a word in edgewise, all right? Uh, we're gonna go up and contact the GRE, and this is the run basically where you run around collecting money from all the people you're supposedly, you know, that Rise is protecting, all right? Now, uh, if you have watched other speedruns, other Dying Light speedruns, uh, you notice that everybody's, you know, using glitches and exploits, one of which is to, I mentioned this in the first video, is to uh, one of the glitches is to duplicate a disaster relief package like you know many times and take all these disaster relief packages back to a quartermaster and instantly level up survivor or instantly max out your survivor level which will then give you all the survivor skills including the grapple hook all right now i'm not doing any of that okay no exploits no cheats so i'm doing everything in the hard way i have to you know manually collect all you know the, all the toxic lichen and common herbs and make my own speed boosters and rely heavily on speed boosters to move quickly through the game on top of which um, I'm you know going to be way 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 under leveled throughout the entire game alright so whenever I go into combat it's going to be pretty hellacious now things are pretty cool up until you get to the school alright in this video we're going to run into the fisherman's village uh, things get pretty hairy there but it's manageable but when you get to the school it's just hell because rises men as you know um, who populate the school they can dodge all your attacks and they're tough as nails they're really tough to take down so um, as I mentioned earlier I'm gonna to have to have grapple by the time I get to the school and I do and even then, uh, it's a hell of a fight. I'm gonna have to use a lot of uh, cheap tricks in order to, you know, you'll see what happens in the school. That's when it all breaks down. If you're doing a speed run, if you're like just bombing through the game, you're not doing any side missions, you're not leveling up, that's when it all breaks down when you get to the school. All right, so we're coming up to the part uh, where we meet the courier, quote, end quote, in the tunnel. And it turns out the courier is a little bloated. <laughs> okay, so we got bombers on the scene. Bombers are actually quite useful in speedruns if you can, you know, manipulate them into running into groups of zombies and blowing them up for you. And this is what I'm going to attempt to do when I get to the fisherman's village. It's, it's kind of tricky. Because bombers are not that susceptible to firecrackers, okay? It seems to kind of sort of work on them, but not they're not entirely reliable. So really, you throw a firecracker and uh, it attracts all the other zombies. The bombers may or may not go towards the firecracker. So here, the first order of business is to get out of the way of the bombers so that they don't blow me up. There's two of them in here. There's one right there. I'm trying to sucker all the zombies into, you know, going towards the bomber, but he blew up too fast. Same with this one. So 
sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. At least they're out of the way. Now, priority number two is to shut the gate. Sometimes uh, the virals that are attracted by the exploding bombers take their time getting to the village and you can shut the gate before they get in. This time it didn't work out so neatly so now I've got virals in the perimeter so it's gonna be a little tougher once again I'm just using this crappy blue gas pipe I think it's doing about uh, 45 or 50 damage fastest way to take down these uh, zombies is molotovs of course molotovs are in very short supply everything is in very short supply when doing a speed run of this nature so I have to like you know really uh, carefully consider when I'm gonna use molotovs can't just spam them There we go, so village has been taken care of. Next we're going to be speed running over to the ferry station and then uh, we'll be making our way back to the Rise compound and on the way uh, Kareem's going to give us another objective to check out a missing patrol. This is where you get your first uh, assault rifle in the game and a lot's gonna depend on whether that guy gives up either a military rifle or a police rifle optimally I like to get a police rifle but it didn't work out like that I got a military rifle the difference being that the police rifle is semi-automatic and the military rifle is full automatic so and you start out with very little ammo so it's a lot easier to control your ammo if you're using a semi-automatic uh, and it, it really changes the the run dramatically if you get a police rifle, but I wasn't so lucky, so... Okay, so here's the ferry station. Skip through that dialogue. Grab the money, and away we go. Okay, Kareem, I made the collection at the ferry station. I'm pretty sure I'm going now. Join the club. Now come back and claim your prize. Good job today. Okay, the fastest way back is kind of like up and over the mountain. I still haven't got slide yet. That's not really a priority as far as skills. Vault is going to be much more useful. And right about here, Brecken cuts in. Now here, I want to set a waypoint on the map because I always kind of like miss this little bridge right there. So I set a waypoint. Found back into the speed booster. Cross the bridge and cut north. Now I'm now my landmark is a blue van. I'm looking for a blue van. Once we hit the blue van, we're gonna um, head inland. Inland, and I just set another waypoint near the uh, the missing patrol section. This new objective that Kareem's gonna feed us. There's a blue van. Cut inland. Go through the valley. Now we're getting the new objective. Check out the missing patrol. Now here you have to be careful. I notice when you that when you speed run, um, if you walk in or you just run in there and whack that guy, okay? Often his rifle will clip through the ground. This has happened to me so many times and completely ruined my run. I had a lot of problems with this and I noticed that only happens when you speed run so I, I had to waste a molotov on him to to kill him just to make sure that the rifle didn't clip through the ground and there we go I got a military rifle not a police rifle that's a real bummer but uh, it'll have to do still make use of it Okay, I got it. 
and now it's back to the rice compound. back on the road. Sticking a lot to roads just because it's easier to remember, uh, you just follow the road. And like I said, free running routes are often screwed up because uh, they're designed for going normal speed, so um, try to do some of these free running routes across the rooftops. Uh, you end up screwing them up because you overshoot everything, because you jump a lot farther when you're on speed boosters. And anyways, climbing kind of slows you down. So I'm sticking a lot to the roads. And that's it. Made it back to Kareem. Skip through this. Gonna go in and talk to Rise. Get ripped off. And then we're gonna go back outside and then we're gonna pick up next video right here. Alright, that's time. See you next video. Oh,